Welcome to Lex Chat. My name is Lexi, singer, rapper, writer, recording engineer, model, all around entertainer, a whole bunch of things. And thank you so much for joining me today. This show is dedicated to music and entertainment, where we talk about the industry and the business and we help each other to become better artists. You can catch these chats live on Instagram at Lexi ATL. That's L-E-X-C-A-T-L on Instagram every Wednesday between seven and eight to be part of the conversation. If you missed the live, you can hear the replay on Mondays at 8 a.m. on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast. If you're listening or watching on YouTube right now, please be sure to like this video, leave comments to continue the conversation, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I post a new piece of content. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcast, please give me a five out of five star rating and leave a review. All of these things really help me by telling the algorithms that this is a good piece of content and that they should push this in front of larger audiences. So I would greatly appreciate you doing that for me. If you would like to go the extra mile in supporting me, then please consider becoming a patron of mine on patreon.com slash Lexi ATL. And for as little as $5 per month, you'll be supporting me and getting early access to content. This week on Lex Chat, I want to get into planning for next year. Now, the end of the year is right around the corner. 2023 is right around the corner. And... I've been thinking really heavily about the some of the things that I want to either put into practice or set aside money for so that I can do more of the things that are on my mind. But none of this would be able to be possible without me planning. So I want to get into what are some things that you should be considering preparing for for the New Year's and how can we make that a reality? So if this sounds like a conversation you would be interested in hearing more about, then please Stay tuned. Okay, I had to re-record that little thing because uh, I messed up on my audio a little bit, honestly. So let's get into some announcements before we get into the Lex chat. I want to give a shout out to Eb Slade. She is a stylist based out here in Atlanta, Georgia. Eb Slade on Instagram, that's at E-B-S-L-A-Y-E-D. You can hit her up for hair and makeup services. Get both done in one place. She did my hair and my makeup about a week ago. I got a frontal install and a bust down style. She took me through the entire experience, y'all. Something that has really been lacking from a lot of these other Atlanta hairstylists, honestly. But she washed my hair, conditioned, detangled, steamed with a deep conditioner, dried my hair, um, oiled it, moisturized it up, braided it down, sewed on the back, did the, um, what you call it? We did the gasta bee, we did the hair net and put down this frontal unit, melted the lace. She flat ironed it, styled it, slicked the edges. And after doing all of that, she did my makeup and I just left feeling so pretty and so beautiful. And she really just gave me the full experience that has really been lacking from a lot of these salons, I will say. And her prices are so good, y'all. So I want to encourage y'all to go check out my girl, Eb Slade hair and makeup in one place right now for the month of december she is running a special where all of her services are 50 percent off frontal installs like the one that y'all saw last week and which y'all can see live on instagram right now 88 dollars closure installs 75 dollars silk presses 38 dollars makeup 30 dollar beat Go follow her and book her services by going to Instagram at Eb Slade, that's E-B-S-L-A-Y-E-D, and tell her that Lexi sent you. Next up, I want to give a shout out to Glory Apparel. Glory is an acronym for God's Love Over Rebellious Youth, and you can shop the clothing line at God's Love Over Rebellious Youth dot store. The mission is to show people how loved they are by God and check out the first collection called Loved Ones, which I am a featured model of from the sale 
of any purchases made from the loved ones collection. A percentage of all sales from this collection will be donated to helping people get help. We want to see our people be healthy emotionally and mentally. So every month we will be paying for as many people as we can to go to therapy. Through your purchases, you will help people all over the world find safe spaces to process their life experiences in a healthy way that will ultimately lead to a healthy life for you to buy from this first collection. Again, that's Glory Apparel, God's Love Over Rebellious Youth dot store. Now, if you don't feel like typing all of that into your URL, then go to Instagram and you can find them at Glory Apparel One and then go to their page, click on the link on in their bio and you will be redirected to the website to get your shop on. OK, really love those two sponsors. Thank you all so much for sponsoring me. And uh, let's see here, what we got next on our announcements. Check out the song that is playing in the background right now. It's a song that I honestly, I don't show enough love to these days, but it is what I would consider to be one of my classics. Playing in the background right now is Crazy Time. Fun fact, this song actually did better overseas first and then people started catching on to it here on the, on, in the U.S. mainland. But it was popular across the seas, got picked up for online radio overseas in the U.K. before anybody gave it any kind of airtime or playtime over here in the U.S. So fun fact about that, I started out as an international artist. OK, this was back in 2016, 2015, 2016, something like that. But yeah, so that song, if you are listening on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts right now on the playback of this episode, then you are hearing that song playing in the background right now. That song, Crazy Time, is available on all streaming platforms. That's Spotify, that's Apple Music, that's Tidal, that's YouTube, that's Google, that's Amazon. Pick a favorite platform. It's there. I promise you that. All right. Check it out. Show me some love on Crazy Time. Please remember that I do offer merch for sale. I've got hats, wristbands, lighters with a built-in bottle opener and Lexi posters. Those of you who are tuned in live, you can see these posters on the wall right there. I got my artist type poster and then I got the sexy Lexi type poster over there. I do still have some limited edition crazy time posters available still, but you can get these sexy Lexi posters or you can get my Lexi artistic posters on the website, as well as, like I said, hashtag winner visors. And then we got the hashtag winner, hashtag keeper wristbands. We have the burn lighters with built in bottle opener. And yeah, that's available on my website at LexiATL.com, www.lexcatl.com. All right. Oh my goodness gracious. How did I forget? I got to go get my, um, I got to go get my notebook, but y'all yesterday was the last day to enter into the ratchet Christmas giveaway. Now, if anybody has been paying attention to my social media, then y'all will know that I have been doing a ratchet Christmas giveaway. What's up pillow. You better sell that merch. Y'all, please buy it. Please buy it. <laughs> but if y'all have been paying attention to my page the past um, couple weeks, I have put out a call for a Ratchet Christmas giveaway to commemorate the release of my first Christmas song, 12 Ratchet Days of Christmas, which will become available on Christmas Day this year. So the rules of the giveaway, you have to be following me, Lexi ATL. You have to like the post. I actually posted about the giveaway on my timeline and it's pinned at the top of the timeline. You had to have liked that post and then comment something from your wish list to get an entry into the giveaway. A lot of people surprisingly, either they just wanted to like show support for the post or they just don't read directions. I don't know, but I got a good amount of participants, so I'm happy. But that was how you get entry, right? To get additional entries, you could tag up to five people for five additional entries. You could also pre-save 12 Ratchet Days of Christmas on Spotify. Take a screenshot, send it to me, and that would have given you an additional five entries. So that would have been 11 entries, right? So one entry for following me, liking the post and commenting something from your wish list. five entries for tagging up to five people, and then five entries for pre-saving 
and sending me a screenshot and showing me, okay? That would have been 11 entries. And then you would have got an additional entry if you shared it to the story and tagged me, if you shared the giveaway post to your story and tagged me. So that would have been 12 total entries, right? Yeah, so let me, I'm gonna be right back because I actually forgot to prepare that for today. So if y'all will hold on for like 15 seconds, hold on. Okay, the beauty of editing. I can cut all of that out. So let's see, how many participants did I get on this? One, two, or people who actually follow directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. So yeah, while I'm doing that, or while I'm doing this, creating my little, um, what do you call it, makeshift drawing. <laughs> Let's get into some of these topics for the Lex check. And by the end of Lex check, then we are going to announce whoever the winner is for this giveaway. All right, so what we got here? Ratchet Christmas giveaway pull for a winner. We're gonna move that to the end of the Lex check. So more giveaways in the new year. Something that I decided to do is, and this kind of goes with the topic of today's Lex Chat. How are we getting ready for the year of 2023 as far as being a creative? And I guess this could apply to anybody else who's not in the entertainment industry. But one of my goals is I was mentioning maybe like two weeks ago that I really wanna get back into tithing and giving 10% of my income towards you know, tithing in religion would have been 10% to God or 10% to the church, but I don't go to a physical church these days. Pretty much since pandemic, no, not even that. Since I moved, I don't, and the church became like an hour away. I don't go to physical church. I just like watch online. What I used to do when I was a good little Christian girl was tithe the church that I was going to, or I would give up some of my income to charities that I was interested in. But I haven't done that in a very long time. I wanna get back to doing that. So, oh, 100 Jamaican dollars. So what I have vowed to do is to go back to giving 10% of my income to a cause and I've decided that I want 10% of my income to go towards helping other people because something else that I used to do is I would 10% of my income offer to pay someone's bills offer to pay to put gas in someone's car um, I've paid parking tickets for people before I've paid like probation officer fees for people before and um, just stuff like that. So I really wanna get back into that and it's a way for me to invest into people. So, you know, I think it'll be a good marketing tactic for me as well, because when it comes to these giveaways, it's not just gonna be me giving away money all the time or giving away an experience, but you gotta do a little bit of work for me. And hopefully people are willing to do the work. I just have to make sure that I have worthy giveaways that would make people interested to get some of the things because it is like free money or free gifts all you got to do is take a little bit of your time and effort to participate so some of the giveaways will include like i said cash prizes this particular giveaway for this ratchet christmas giveaway is a ratchet christmas gift basket some of the things that are mentioned in the song I'm going to have in the gift basket, like some liquor, some eggnog, um, gift card to a wing spot, because in the song it says liquor in my eggnog with lemon pepper wings. Depending on what you commented, those of you who followed directions and you commented something from your wish list, depending on what you commented, I'm going to try to incorporate that into the gift basket. There might be gift cards, there might be scratch off lottery ticket i don't know exactly the other stuff oh there's gonna be a box of b condoms in there because you gotta have a safe ratchet christmas right exactly for y'all nasty ones out there 
got to be safe during this ratchet Christmas time. Who do you want to have a ratchet Christmas with? A ratchet Christmas. So yeah, um, like I said, this first one's gonna be gift basket, but I also have like Eb Slade, another shout out to her, the person who did my hair and makeup that I told y'all about. 50% off for the month of December. Um, doing giveaways with her. So like for some of my, for the ladies who follow me, some of my model friends, my female artists, if you want to get a makeover in the new year, one of the giveaways is going to be getting your hair and makeup done by Eb Slade. Another one of the giveaways is you will get a photo shoot with Eye Perspective, who if y'all have seen my profile picture where it's like a red background and I'm doing like a back bend and my car is in the background, he took that photo and he did the beauty shots. Those posters that I, that I showed you in the background of my artist poster and the sexy Lexi posters, he took those pictures. Super talented. Um, for my guys, one of my friends is a barber. So we're going to set you up with either getting a haircut or getting your hair done. Because, you know, I can't just leave the makeover for the ladies. So that's going to be another giveaway. And there's going to be cash prizes. Um, set you up with marketing with like Be Heard promotion. Um, set you up with online distribution like pay for your distribution or pay for you to get cover art so graphic design um it just and a lot of it's going to depend on you know what did i make what is 10 percent of what i made in the previous month and what is that <laughs> amount of money going to allow me to do so very excited about that and uh yeah i'm folding up my last piece of paper for this drawing other things on Lex Check. What did I do? Sending out thank you cards to people who have spent money with me this year. That's another goal of mine. Oh, this is so cute. I'm doing a giveaway. <laughs> Working 30 days straight at the moment. Oh my goodness, really? You are really hustling. You may as well go ahead and work through the new year and then take yourself a 30 day break. But yeah, um, another goal that I have which this also goes into the topic. Uh, last year, I kind of did this, but the year before I definitely did it, where I sent thank you cards out to everyone who, like clients who spent money with me. And just, you know, thank you for trusting me with your projects. Thank you for putting money in my pocket. I appreciate the support. And it's a small little thing that I did to, you know, just show appreciation for people more wanting to work with me. So gearing up to do that and then sending out like Christmas cards to family. I don't have the money I want to be able to buy everybody a gift, but I can at least something that I haven't done in a really long time that my family hasn't done is like pictures. I don't really have updated pictures of everybody. So I'll be sending out pictures to family. But yeah, without further ado, this here, I've put the names into this cute little white thing here and we are going to see who won the drawing for christmas basket i know a couple people that i want to win but we'll see i'm gonna get that noise on the microphone so here we go here we go Ooh, we got one and the winner is oh official mr flat shoals 74 is the winner of the ratchet christmas gift basket so congratulations to official mr flat show 74 very excited about that oh i'm so happy so i will be contacting him after we get off of lex chat and he must respond if he does not respond within 24 hours then i'm gonna leave this here we're gonna draw another name and we're gonna see who wins all right so congratulations to official mr flat shows he is the winner of the wretched christmas gift basket that's so exciting oh my god now i need to go shopping now i need to go shopping and thank y'all so much everybody who participated um i had some other well i guess i should wait till after you know i get an answer back from him but man you know what i just realized that music was not playing in the background for crazy time so i gotta go back and edit all of that wait a minute mother hey these bbls killing y'all okay there we go 
it's a quick note but congratulations to official mr flash shows but thank you to everybody who participated in the first giveaway the ratchet christmas giveaway and um thank you to everybody who pre-saved 12 ratchet days of christmas y'all remember that that is going to be released and available for streaming on christmas day december 25th all right so Let's get into the topic for today, which is getting ready for 2023. What are some things we should be thinking about? How can we do a little bit of financial planning to make sure that we can stay consistent and just being realistic with what we've seen from the previous year and how we can do new things, maintain the things that we've been doing well, let go of some of the things that are no longer serving us. So if this is a conversation that you want to stay involved with, then please tune back in after these messages. Let's chat. Oops, sorry, I forgot to turn my microphone back down. Let's chat. Let's chat. Let's get into this conversation, y'all. Let me set aside the winner's name over here. Again, congratulations to official Mr. Flash Shoal 74. He is the winner of the Ratchet Christmas basket to commemorate the release of the 12 Ratchet Days of Christmas. So if y'all mad that y'all didn't win the giveaway, Make sure that y'all read directions next time. There will be more and hold me accountable to that. There will be monthly, God willing, even if it's just a gift card. But like I said, 10% of the income is really going to depend on how much I made that month. And then I'll be able to do a giveaway and pour it into whoever follows the directions and wins the draw <laughs> so but without further ado let's get into this lex chat so today we're talking about planning for the upcoming year it's 2022 so we're going to be talking about planning for 2023 and what are some things that we should be taking into consideration how can we do a little bit of planning so we can be consistent with our goals and not break the bank but also not be like stagnant you know I think um standing still oftentimes comes with a lack of planning or a fear of execution it could be a combination of things so we have today's the 14th and there's 31 days that's 10 to 27 so 17 days until the new year gets here so that's plenty of time to kind of take Let's say five minutes. No, that's not realistic. Let's say take 15 minutes to an hour each day, once a day for 17 days until we get into the new year. Right. Don't put You don't have to put a lot of pressure onto yourself planning, um, you know, what you're going to do or worrying about what you're not able to do. What I really want this episode to be is to get you to think about what you are currently doing, what you have been doing, what you want to be doing. And this is kind of like a twist on, I guess, New Year's resolutions, but I don't like to call them resolutions. And honestly, you shouldn't be waiting for the new year each year. But let me stop digressing. So we are going to look back on the previous year and I'm going to be speaking mostly from a first person view because this is for me as well as for y'all. But this is something that I think or I just want to remind everybody to be thinking of. So we're going to look back on the previous year and I want to examine what I've tried, what's worked and what hasn't worked, what gave me the results I wanted. So for me, if I'm sitting back and I'm just reflecting on some of the things that I did this year um right off the bat I only released one music video so I would like to see myself release more content and uh let me as we're going along here let me actually put this in my notes 
so boom boom what do I actually want to do and this is what we're thinking so right off the bat I did not release as many music videos or songs as I originally hoped for in 2022 I only released one music video and that was all keeps which was shot by streets shout out to streets and that was really good it was pretty cost effective cost efficient excuse me because that was more of a trade situation he helped me and I helped him and yeah did I still yeah he gave me a little discount because I helped him on some stuff and yeah we just we just we bartered so that's how I made that work but for me personally I would want to see myself do more music videos and if you're listening along then you can just make a list of things a list of goals so the easiest things for us to point out first and foremost are usually the negative things right so I'm beating myself up right now I wish I could have released more music videos and I wish I could have released more songs for the music video thing I simply just did not budget or factor in a budget for doing music videos for girls it's a lot different doing music videos than it is for guys there has to be a way more planning as far as a woman's appearance when it comes to these videos and for live performances as well which is another thing another goal of mine I want to do more live performances but so the music video thing if I did one music video last year then it's not unreasonable for me to say that I would want to do two music videos next year. I did one and it was basically the top of the year in 2022. So if I could crank out at least two music videos in 2023, then that is better than I did in 2022. And I will be okay with that because like I said, it's better than what I did in 2022. So a goal for myself is a goal that I have for myself. And I'm typing this as I, as I say this, so y'all excuse the pauses. Goal equals release two music videos in 2023. Okay. Now there's the other issue that I pointed out for myself. I didn't release nearly as many songs as I wanted to last year or I'm talking like I'm already in 2023. I didn't release as many songs as I wanted to in 2022. So I wanna go to my Spotify really quickly. Um, and look at my page. Let's go to Lexi the Artist. I have more listeners this year, coming out of this year than I did 2022 really only motorboat well motorboat and then the 12 ratchet days of christmas would be well that's just popular releases wait a minute let's go to show all what year we were in 2022 wait a minute did i do a video at all this year oh my god i didn't do any music videos this year i'm calling myself out right now that's what makes it so real. Okay. Hey there. So let me, y'all, it's looking like I didn't even do, no, no, no. Okay, so I did do one for all keeps. All right, I thought I was going crazy. And then the year before that, Bedroom was the only music video. The year before that, it was What They Want and Love Chaser. So pretty consistently, I've been doing one music video a year so yeah anyway singles this right here is telling me motorboat was my only release this year that's crazy so one song oh that hurts but hey you know what so I only released one song in 2022. So my goal for 2023 
let's keep it real simple. It doesn't have to be crazy rocket science. The goal would be to release at least two songs in 2023. I know that I'm already halfway there because Smoke and Mirrors is set to release at the end of January. So for me, my real goal is, my extended goal, is that I want to release one song each month every month or finally release this damn album and I probably won't even do the single thing because the album is coming but those are my goals so what I just did is I thought to myself okay what actually happened in the past year so the next year I either need to match that energy or just go one step above that. So for me, I only released one music video. So the goal for 2023, release at least one music video. Really the goal is to release two, but if I can at least match the energy that I had from the year before, then I would feel like I'm doing okay. On the music tip, I only released one damn song. (laughs) So this upcoming year, need to release at least one damn song or more for me to feel good about myself. So now let's see, what else do I have on this? What have I tried? Something that I think, so I wanted to actually, I was trying to organize this a little better, but questions that I'm asking myself for for planning for the upcoming year. What areas do I want to? And there are three areas. What do I want to get into? What do I want to maintain? What do I want to let go of? So we got into the get into part. So get into more music videos, more music releases. And I made a list for myself, more live performances, more photo shoots, more consistent on social media, more patrons, more teaching and private lessons and training and do better with my website maintenance. These are things, some of which are going to cost me money, some of which is just gonna cost me better planning and creating a system to make sure that I'm doing these certain things. So like music videos, live performances, photo shoots, um, website, okay. So music videos, live performances, photo shoots, those things are gonna cost more money. So I need to have in my mind, what's a budget that I need to set aside to be able to achieve these things. Music video is gonna range, it's gonna depend on videographer, it's gonna depend on the song, it's gonna depend on location, how many looks, um, how many looks, how many outfits, hiring makeup artists, buying the clothes, it's gonna depend on those things. So that's gonna range. I think a decent budget would be $1,000 for a quick little simple video. More live performances, that one is not so bad. Most of the places I've been getting into recently, they have been free to perform because I know the people and they get me in for free, so that's been really nice. But something that might cost me money for these live performances would be the outfits. You know, um, I do care about how I show up to these things and how I present myself. Sometimes I don't care like when I'm just thrown on stage, but I do actually care about presentation and I need to care more about presentation if I'm going to try to compete on a mainstream level. Not quite there yet, but keeping these things in mind. So for me to present myself a certain way, let's say I actually did really well in November and I think I performed three to four times in one month. I think three times in November I performed. So honestly, if I could perform at least once a month, live performance. So if I could perform at least once a month, at least one live performance per month, then I'll be doing pretty good. Um, Right now, it'll take me too much time to think back on what other performances I did in 2022, um, if they haven't happened in the past month, honestly. So I did Sage um, Restaurant and Lounge in Marietta three weekend, three days out of November. So that was once a week for three weeks. One of those was a headline. I opened up for Triggs at Mango's in Marietta. So that was a 
opener slot. I went to, to phase two for Rich Life. She invited me to come perform two songs there. So what is that? Three, four, that's five performances. So if I can do at least five performances in the new year, then I'm doing really well. And these performances, I didn't have to pay to play. I was invited or my slot was taken care of for me. The only thing I had to worry about was showing up and looking the part and then performing, doing a good job on this set. So we're gonna keep in mind the outfits, the hair, nails. We're gonna keep in mind, we're gonna keep that in mind for a budget for thinking about how we're planning for this upcoming year. What else did I write down here? Things that I would like to maintain. Lex chat, modeling, website, favorite social media platforms of Instagram, YouTube, and podcasting. So with these things, I think I've done, it's gonna be important, right? So we're looking at three areas. What do you wanna get into? What do you wanna maintain? What do you wanna let go? So like I said, I wanna get into more music videos, more live performances, more photo shoots, more consistent on social media, more patrons, more teaching. It's also important during this time that you're thinking to praise yourself for the things that you've been doing well. So for me, something that I'm very proud of myself for is the fact that once I decided to do Lex Chat, I've been consistent with it. And even though I still am not sure, am I gonna take off a couple weeks <laughs> for these? Oh, this is a side note, hold on. Let me pull up this calendar real quick and give me the month view. Am I gonna take these last two weeks off? Um, No, I don't feel like I do wanna take two weeks off, honestly. But I feel like maybe I should and just sit down and have a day where I'm really writing down all the topics I wanna get into and then reaching out to people that I want. So I've been doing a really good job of maintaining Lex Chat, right? Um, so Lex chat, but what I want to do better with is in the new year, I'm going to get back into bringing hosts onto my show. So goal, bring hosts onto show. I would say two times a month. Honestly, it would be nice to have every single week. But if I could get at least two a month, I think that is very doable for me. And I have to keep that in mind for a budget as well because I'm not paying people to be on the show just yet, but I do offer them like, you know, I wanna cook for you, feed you. That's how I'm paying for your time. So Lex Chat, bring hosts onto show two times per month. That is my goal for Lex Chat. Um, also, another goal, I stopped doing YouTube advertisements for Lex Chat, maybe like two or three episodes ago. So I want to get back into putting $10 of promo onto YouTube videos of the podcast. So that's, you know, roughly $40 to $50 per month. And I just want to make sure for, okay, so 40 to $50 per month for Lex Chat promotion on YouTube. Boom. So that's a number that I'm going to keep in mind for later. If I say $50 a month, multiply that by 12. What is that? 600? Please don't laugh at my math. 12 times. $50. Yep, that's 600. Okay, I'm I'm all right with mental math. I'm all right with that. So that would mean that I would have to set aside $600 for the year to be able to stick to my goal of advertising or putting advertising dollars, promo dollars on every single Lex Chat video. So the reason why I want to do this, so I'm praising myself for the things that I've been doing well, and then I'm pointing out why these things have been working well for me. The reason why I like doing the promo on YouTube is because I've noticed 
that my audience has gone up significantly, at least through the analytics that I'm getting through the Anchor platform. I have an audience of at least 50 listeners a week because I've been posting consistently and in combination with doing the $10 of promo per video. So I wanna keep doing that. And now because I have that consistent audience of 50 people per week, at least from what Anchor is reporting to me, I'm seeing that I'm gaining more dollars in ads per month as a result of me putting advertising dollars behind it. So I'm getting back a little bit more revenue as a result of the promotion that I've put behind Lex Chat. And honestly, to be completely and brutally honest with myself, I'm seeing better returns quicker on the podcasting than I am with the music. So that's also a huge reason for why I want to do better. I want to maintain the Lex Chat, but also maintain that $10 promotion on those videos. And honestly, I might even experiment with doing $5, but that might not even be worth it because I want to do at least $1 a day. So maybe I could do like $1 a day. I think they make it like $1.50 per day. And I promote it $10 for eight days. So we'll see. We'll see. But that's just something to keep in mind for myself. Um, and then, of course, I want to get like better podcasting equipment. This might include a camera or just figuring out how to get my current camera to work for long form recording instead of having to cut in and out. Although if I need to, I will just make it work the way that I've been doing. Um, I'll just have to be more mindful about charging the battery and keeping a bigger memory card, but I'm gonna see how that works out. So that might cost me equipment. So that's something I'm gonna keep in mind. Something else that I've been doing really well this year is getting into modeling and staying consistent with going to castings. Um, so I wanna keep that up. I've done a good job at paying for the maintenance of my website. My website has not gone down since I established it in either 2015 or 2016. So that's seven or eight years that I've had my website and it stays up every single year and I keep it current. But what I do want to do a better job of is updating my website more frequently because I got away from that. I got back into it this year. I got a little bit of my flame back, a little bit of my fire back. So I've been doing a better job of at least updating when I have performances and having that reflect on my website as well as when I do have music releases, updating like creating my own press, my own press releases, putting the lyrics on the website, um, doing email marketing. I need to get back into that. So actually, that's something I didn't put on my list. Email marketing. I use MailChimp. So I want to get back into doing my newsletters and or press releases for when I release new songs. Cause I did send one out for the ratchet, 12 ratchet days of Christmas. So yeah. And then social media platforms, I think I tell myself that I want to do better with posting more consistently to social media, but honestly, I've done a good job of staying consistent with the platform. I have at least stories going every single day on my Instagram stories and I have multiple pages. So I'm giving myself a little bit of grace here and not being too hard on myself because I've been maintaining multiple pages. Um, but the pages that do need more love is the Lexi finance page and the Lexi quotes page. Um, yeah. Lexi Finance and Lexi Quotes needs more love. Lexi Fitness could be better. If I would just post at least once a week on there, that would be fine. Lexi ATL has been doing just fine. Um, And let's see what else. YouTube, of course, has been good because I have the Lex chat every week. And most recently, I've added the R&B Girl Reacts on there. So I've been doing reactions to 
mostly rappers right now. It's been a lot of NBA young boy and young and ace and hot boy and Taylor Swift. So I've been doing a really good job of that. And yeah, some things that I want to let go of in the new year is hesitating to speak my mind and speak up for myself. So something that I want to work on that's not going to cost any money, but it will take some brain power and some alone time and it'll take me sitting my sitting still. I was about to curse. It'll take me sitting still and giving myself the time to meditate on things and meditate and pray more on things. But um, I'm a very, I like to laugh. I like to make the people around me feel good if I can help it. Um, I can be critical, but I've noticed when I give advice to certain people, it's not received probably because of the way that I'm saying it. It's very soft spoken. It's honestly very chill. And I'm just starting to think like, you know, maybe if I was a little bit more of a bitch, people would take me seriously the first time I say something instead of coming back to me months later, like, oh, Lex, you were right. I should have listened to you when you said da 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 or I have to point out that I've said things multiple times to people and they got bad outcomes because they weren't listening. They didn't heed my word. So um, and then I've gotten myself into a lot of weird situations just by accepting things that I had no business accepting. So what I want to let go of is being hesitant and I want to be more direct and I want to be more dry, more cut and dry with my delivery of how I'm telling people certain things. Um, And I wanna speak my mind. I wanna be more impulsive. I wanna be, yeah, that was perfect. I wanna be more impulsive. And then I'll just deal with whatever backlash or fallout or resolution comes after that. Yeah, whatever comes after that, I'm willing to deal with it. Cause I don't think that I can step into my full potential as the person I see myself as if I continue to do too many things in silence. So speaking up, being more cut and dry when I do deliver the things that I, that I want to get off my mind. <laughs> so yeah. So those are the questions that I think you should ask yourself when it comes to planning for the upcoming year. What do I want to get into? What do I want to maintain? What do I want to let go of? And once you identify those things, you can create a plan behind it. So like I did with the example of Lex Chat, right? That's the easiest example because we're on we're on this platform right now. So if my goal is to maintain Lex Chat and to grow it, then what I need to do is continue what I've been doing, which is staying consistent with it every single week. But as far as growing it, I need to plan now. And I might, I'm debating whether I should or not. I might take these last two weeks off for the new year and just come back. Although that's going to feel so weird. But I might take these last two weeks off just before the new year and just really like plan. So... How do I grow the channel? I have a day where I just think of what kind of episodes do I want to have? What kind of information do I want to learn? What kind of information does my audience want to learn? How can I present the information to y'all? And then what guests would complement the things that I want to learn, the things that I want to know, and the things that my audience wants to learn and the audience wants to know? And then how do I marry the two by inviting these people onto the show, getting ahead of it now by getting like a schedule together for them to come over and record or figure out how to do Zooms. And then after that, put promotion dollars behind it. So $10 per episode, that's $10 for eight days of promo on YouTube. That's been getting me at least 500 views. It's been a consistent 500 to 700 views. What's up, PR team official? Hey, thanks for tuning in. So yeah, that'll give me a consistent 500 to 700 views. And 
I think with the added promotion of people being guests, guest co-hosts, um, guest hosts on guests, just guests, you're like, damn girl, get it out. With the added benefit of people being guests on my show and hopefully they would also promote it on their end so I could grab some of their audience, then that will help to grow Lex Chat. When it comes to the music, I got hella music and I can do a lot on my own. I can record it, I can mix it, I can master it. I just need to stop being lazy about it for myself. And then I found new resources to help me look more professional and to do better with my music, honestly, just stop thinking so much and just put something out. Stop holding on to the music. That's really what I tell my clients and I really need to tell it to myself. Don't be scared. And somebody need to tell Cardi B, don't be scared. Just go ahead and throw it out there. And if you don't like how it went, well, You saw how it went. You can tweak it for next time and make it better for the next release. But you're never going to know unless you actually throw it out there and see how it feels. Go through the process. Go through the emotions of what it feels like to plan and execute and promote and then perform and do all the different steps, the different levels that artists have to go through. So for me to do better with that, um budget wise what I'm thinking for myself and if y'all are not on this level yet then don't worry about it just take notes for when you do get to this point so for me in my business at the end of every single month whatever I made I'm taking 20% of that money and I'm putting it into a savings account dedicated for my taxes And at the end of the tax year, when it comes time to pay those taxes, I really should be paying them quarterly. Um, That might be another goal of mine is to actually pay my taxes quarterly. um, So I don't run the risk of getting penalized, although I've never been penalized. Knock on wood. I have not been penalized to this point. So praise the Lord. But um, yeah, so I take 20 percent of my earned income and I put it into a savings account and that's set aside for my taxes. So at the end of the tax year, when it comes down, when it comes time to do taxes, I, the way that I do it, I will hopefully have a tax refund. So the state and the federal government, they're not actually refunding me, but if I don't have to pay any taxes, then that savings account is just now a big amount of money that I've set aside for the past year. Now, the way that I used this account last year was I used it to pay down on some credit card debt. I used it to beef up some of my savings accounts and I used it to invest in merchandise. So the Lexi posters that I got printed out, I invested in that. The hashtag winner hats, I bought those. The hashtag winner keeper wristbands, it was like 300 wristbands, I think. I invested in those. Did I already say the lighters, the burn lighters with the built-in bottle openers? Invested in those. And for Lexi Fitness, I invested in workout clothing. So a few leggings, a few two-piece outfits, like really like a sample size, a sample, a sampling of different outfits to see if I would want to get into selling leggings and workouts, workout outfits for Lexi Fitness. I think the next thing I would want to do is people need water bottles. I might I might look into designing a water bottle and having a certain stock for that or even starting to buy workout mats and sell those because that would go along with Lexi Fitness, private training, bring a mat to these group fitness sessions. If you don't have a mat, then I have mats available for sale. So that would be another way to make money and uh, just got to plan out like how to break even on that. Right. So that's a a few different things you can do with that. So my personal goals, paying down some debt, setting aside money in savings accounts to beef up my savings accounts to hit to reach my savings goals. And we talked about finance for creatives a few weeks ago. What are some of your savings goals for me? I have a cash emergency fund. I have 
an emergency fund in my bank account that will cover a couple of months of expenses and then a long-term account that will cover like six months worth of expenses if I stay on a very specific type of budget, right? So I use the tax refund to beef up those kinds of savings accounts. So like I said, paying down debt, which is paying off my credit cards, beefing up on my savings accounts, and then buying or investing into things that I would need as an artist, which was the posters or the things for Lexi Fitness. So now at the end of that, right, because I think after I did those things, I still had, I made sure to leave room for money that I could play with, right? I think there was like two or $3,000 left over and I actually should have brought my notebook to um, actually show the real figures that I, that I, that I calculated, but um, I left two or three thousand dollars for myself to play with. Now, what I think I want to do this year. So I mentioned about wanting to be consistent with the promotion for Lex Chat. Um, so that's fifty dollars a month, roughly. So we said twelve months. That's six hundred dollars for the year. I should be setting aside six hundred dollars for Lex Chat promotion. Okay, and then I mentioned wanting to do more music releases. Then I should, I distribute my music with CD Baby. Oh, before we even get to that, right? So before we even get to that, setting aside the money for the promotion of the Lex Chat, which is $10 per video, that's four to five videos per month. So roughly 40 to $50 per month, $600 for the year, right? Set that aside. I want to make sure that I'm saving set aside money for the maintenance of my business. So certain things that I have to pay for annually or every single year annually means every single year. I have my website maintenance and my URL maintenance. So to maintain the Squarespace website that I have, let's say that's $300 for a year. I need to have that set aside in a savings account. And that can pull out whenever it's ready to take out. I think it's in February for me. The URL, I have it through HostGator. I think that's like 20 bucks a year. Or I think I pay every three years for that. And it's like 20 bucks every three years or something like that. Car insurance for my car, because I do consider my car as part of my, it's a liability for my company. That's like 1200 a year, 13, 1400 a year for my car insurance. We have LLC renewal fees, which in Georgia, it's $50 a month. Um, distribution sites. So if anyone is with like a TuneCore or a DistroKid, there is an annual fee of $20 and up, depending on what you signed up for. So I would say to make sure that my business will stay functional for the year, what are some annual costs that I need to pay to make sure that those things are still in place. So like I said, website, URL, car insurance, cause I gotta get to and from my sessions, the LLC renewal fees. If you're paying annually for distribution sites, then set all that aside. Tampa Boy Beat says, take $300 a month and put it in an envelope 300 times. 12 is $3,600. Don't open it until January 2024. So you're getting into like a savings strategy. I really like that, Tampa. I really like that. If you take $300 a month every month and stash it away, don't touch it until the next year, then you've just given yourself $3,600. And then at the top of the year coming in, you can plan out, okay, how, what can I do with this money? So I really like that. That's the method that you use. That's really dope. That's really dope. Me personally, I do 10% of my income for my business account anyway. It's 10% of my income. So whatever I make that month, 10% of that, I'm putting it away into a bank account. Um, as I mentioned to y'all earlier, taxes is another form of savings. That's another savings account. Putting 20% of that away into an account. Um, at the end of the year, it ends up being like, ooh, like 5,000 and I kind of, 
I wonder if this is too much information, but I'm going to go ahead and look it up because I have all of these things organized. So 2021 income expense sheet. Do I have a summary sheet? I thought I made a summary sheet. Let me see. Taxes for 2022. Oh, 2021. Okay. So taxes, that was $6,000 in taxes last year. $6,000 in taxes last year. I actually need to do this for 2022. Uh, damn. Oh, okay, okay. Just from January, February, March, it's like $2,000 in taxes. So yeah, if you even decide like a certain percentage, and this is part of planning for your upcoming year as well, right? How, what kind of systems am I going to be putting into place to make sure that I am setting myself up in the future? So for me, if I already know that I have to pay for certain things each year, like the website, the URL, the LLC, the distribution sites, then my goal is to save as much as it costs to maintain those things. And the system that I need to put in place is, okay, do I need to take a certain amount of money out each month? to make sure that I will have enough for this at the end of the year? Or do I need to take a certain percentage out at the end of the month to make sure that it will equal up to this? Part of planning for the next year is, like I said, putting in certain systems in place to make sure that you are setting yourself up for success. So, Tampa Boy B says subtract. Subtract, not sure what you're saying there, sir. So yeah, um, like I said, those are my business expenses that I know I have to pay yearly. Um, and honestly, I, I should, I should do Planet Fitness should be going to my business account. I don't know why I didn't think of this before because technically that's maintaining the pro child. I'm about to switch it over, but yeah. Um, what else do I have on here? Set aside a monthly budget for single and project releases. So something else that I need to think of and actually write down the numbers on a physical piece of paper with physical pen and physical paper. So I'm with CD Baby and each single release is like $25. Each album release is like $60. So if I told y'all my goal is to release one single a month, right? Let's say that's $25 for, hold on, that's $25 per 12 months. That's $300 for a year. I'm not even factoring, like I'm not even gonna factor in recording, mixing, mastering, cover art. I'm not even gonna factor that in. Just if I had the goal of releasing one song a month, then I would need $300 a year for that to be possible for me. So like I said, you can be thinking about this for how you want to approach the upcoming years or this is really just putting together like a budget for how you're going to spend things. So, um, and for me, I'm thinking about the tax return that I will be providing for myself and how I can use some of that money, comparing it to how I did the previous year. So if I want to, like I said, I want to do those releases once a month, then I'm thinking about how much is it going to cost through my distribution? How much would it possibly cost for cover art? Cover art can be anywhere from 50 to, well, from zero to $100. I know how to do cover art on my own now. So I'm going to go with that. And until I get enough money to be able to pay somebody consistently, um, cover art and then promotion for that. So something new that I did this year that I'm proud of myself for is I experimented with playlist promotion and I paid for a few of my songs to be on playlists and thanks to Be Heard, I think it's Wham Promotions, but his Instagram is Be Heard. I paid for playlist marketing for Motorboat and that gave me over 10,000 streams on motorboat. Hey, stop it. 
that gave me 10,000 streams on Motorboat on Spotify. And I had like over 3,000 listeners who listened to that song um, for a 30 day period. So I think it was like, it was either 60 or $100 for 30 days of promotion, of playlisting promotion. And that gave me 10, over 10,000 streams and over 3,000 monthly listeners. Now the numbers have, swins, have since dwindled, of course, because the promotion is over, but I really like the results I got from that. So let's say that I wanted to spend $60 a month on Spotify promotion. How do I do $60 a month? Nope, that doesn't work. 60 times 12. That would be $720 for Spotify playlist promotion. And that's a number that I would have to take into consideration. But I like the results of that. And now, so I'm gonna give Facebook marketing a try again. I didn't like it because when I did it, I got a lot of hits from India. So it just seemed a little scammy to me, even though I set my region to only be for the Southeast. I set my region to be for the Southeast, but I still got a lot of hits from like Indian accounts. So it just felt real scammy to me, but I'm going to try Facebook marketing again and see how that goes. But for me personally, YouTube advertising has worked the best for me. And I've seen people going directly to my website. I'm comparing analytics from my Squarespace. Squarespace gives me analytics and tells me where is the traffic coming from? Which pages are they frequenting the most? How long are they staying on these pages? And what other referral sites basically? So thanks to YouTube, I've been give, getting a heavy amount of referral traffic from YouTube. People coming from YouTube going to my website. And because my audience has been getting increased, I have seen more direct visits to my website. So people typing in LexiATL.com so people are directly coming to my website they're coming from youtube they're coming from instagram and then there's like some site in china that's been giving me a good amount of referrals Kenneth, why 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 are we scratching at that anyway d stiga 813 it's my birthday today friends sing it to me <laughs> happy birthday what is your real name or you just want me to say d stiga you know what i'm gonna do it just like that it'll be funny Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear D Stigger 813. Oh, this Tigger. This Tigger 813. Happy birthday to you. Anyway. You know, I never knew it was Tigger. I thought it was this D Stigger. I don't know. I can't read sometimes. It's Tigger. This Tigger. Like, this is Tigger. All right. 813. What is 813? Where is that? What area code is that? Is it area code? Anywho, let's see. What else do I have to think about? Um, Yeah, my main goal is I'm going to take that tax money and I'm going to pay down debt. I'm gonna put it into some savings accounts. I really wanna get into investing a lot more. I've been putting aside money in some investment accounts, but I'm not contributing to those accounts as much as I would like to. Hey, 813 from Tampa. Well, happy birthday. Today is the 14th. Yeah, that's what you get. That's why you fell. I'm talking to the cat. She finally fell. It's been three weeks. It's been a slow fall. Anyway, she's okay. They always land on their feet. So yeah, happy birthday, Tigger. Happy birthday, Tigger. That's my nigga. Now, um, <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you for tuning in to the Lex chat this week. I really appreciate it. So yeah, um, pay down some debt, put into some savings accounts, buy more merch, put aside money for saving and marketing. And then if my goal was to do another music video, at least one other music video, then I should be, I should set aside at least a thousand dollars to be able to get a music video recorded and edited. And that should take care of location and wardrobe as well. So got me blushing over here. Good, good. Happy birthday. If nobody else sang happy birthday to you, happy birthday from Lexi. 
I like when y'all tell me it's y'all's birthday. So yeah, set aside. So just basically plan that ish out. That's all I'm saying. Take time. The whole gist of this whole episode, I really could wrap it up in this simple statement. All you have to do is allow yourself enough time to sit still and think about stuff. Think about what you did, what's been working, what hasn't been working, what you've been doing well. Give yourself praises on those things. And then think about how can I continue to do well? How can I cut off dead weight? How can I expand on what I've been doing well? What actions am I going to take to continue to be consistent? And what systems am I going to put into place to build my savings account, to have money stashed away, to do the things that I said I wanted to do? And keep in mind, it doesn't have to be a huge amount. It could just be a percentage. And a goal could be developing the discipline to maintain saving or investing that percentage that you outlined for yourself. And then you tell yourself, you know, let's say you don't have much. Let's say you literally, let's say you literally could only squeeze out $50 for promo. For me personally, I'm probably giving all of my money to YouTube because I see the best returns with that. Next up, if Instagram works for you, then advertise on there. But really, marketing is what you should be worrying about. If you can, well, I can't even say that because I don't know everybody's, I don't know everybody's situation, but you don't have to start with a lot. You just got to start with one thing and do that consistently. And uh, use me as a live example and see what I do. I might be a little upset if you don't give me credit, but hell, I would rather, and I put this up the other day, I would rather you watch me struggle than to never see me try. So if you see something that I'm doing, give it a try for yourself. See how it works for you. But I hope that by going through this episode with me that you are getting the wheels turned in your head and that you are thinking of some ways that you can plan for the upcoming year. Um, So we've talked about goals. We've talked about the budgeting, setting aside money. That's really all it is. Creating the systems to make these things a reality. So yeah, ending announcements. Uh, We're going to end off with shout out to eb slade e b s l a y e d she did my hair and makeup which i showed off last week in last week's lex chat but i'm in a trial period of um being a brand ambassador oh scotty way ceo jump man sosa says letting go asked the question how are you getting ready for 2023 he said letting go of all hurt and bs and coming back to record with you Hey, I like that. I like that. I'm currently helping another client of mine get his finances together so he can come back to the studio with me as well. Um, I'm not expecting him until the new year because we had to like restructure a lot of his stuff. But I like that. Letting go of all the hurt and BS and coming back to record with you. And maybe the recording could be the therapy to help you let it go. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. Let it go. Dis Tigga, I'm gonna start saying your name properly now. Dis Tigga eight one three said your hair is beautiful. Thank you. You think my hair is beautiful? Then you gotta you gotta shout out. You gotta visit my girl Eb Slade on here on Instagram. E B S L A Y E D. She did my hair. This is a full frontal install, and this particular style is called a bust down, a center part with the baby hairs going off to the side and then it's bone straight. It's a little curly right now cause I've been sleeping on it and wrapping it a certain way at night. But this is called a bust down style. And this is a full frontal install. Right now she is doing a sale, 50% off of everything, right? So if you like this frontal install that I have here for the month of December, it is $88, okay? 
closure installs, $75. Silk presses, $38. Full face of makeup, $30. So check out Lex Chat from last week. I actually did a video of that. Or check out my Instagram and you can see my hair and makeup. Check out her page at Eb Slade, E-B-S-L-A-Y-E-D. And tell her that Lexi sent you, that Lexi's hair is beautiful and I want my hair to look like Lexi's hair. So I came to you because Lexi told me that I should come to you. Boom, there you go. Shout out to Eb Slade. Go follow her and book her services. Like I said, follow her on Instagram, Eb Slade, and tell her that Lexi sent you. Um, how are you getting ready for 2023? Mixed by Black says, I've decided to I've decided to start life over just with everything. I think that's good too. That is really good. I recommend recommend I commend that because too many people are afraid of being a beginner at starting at level zero, at starting on the ground. So there's nothing wrong with starting over. You are still alive. You can start as many times as you need to. You can cut what you need to. You can start what you need to. You can maintain what you need to. That's what we went through, right? What am I getting into? What am I maintaining? What am I letting go of? And how are we going to maintain? How are we going to bring these things into the new year and create systems to make sure that we can maintain the things that we say we want to do? We can make it a reality and we can maintain it. That's the important part. Next sponsor, Glory Apparel. Glory is an acronym, G-L-O-R-Y. It's an acronym for God's Love Over Rebellious Youth. You can shop with them at God's Love Over Rebellious Youth dot store. If you don't feel like typing all of that in, because I know that's a lot, you can go to their Instagram page at Glory Apparel One on Instagram. The mission is to show people how loved they are by God. Check out the first collection, Loved Ones. A percentage and Loved Ones, I'm a featured model on that collection. So when you go to the website, you'll see me in a light blue hoodie and my uh, brown braids, box braids. But anyway, a percentage of sales of all sales from this collection, the loved ones collection, will be donated to helping people get help. We want to see our people be healthy emotionally and mentally. So every month we will be paying for as many people as we can to go to therapy. Through your purchases, you will help people all over the world find safe spaces to process their life experiences in a healthy way that will ultimately lead to a healthy life. Again, you can visit the website to shop the collection. That's God's Love Over Rebellious Youth dot store. Or you can go to the Instagram at Glory Apparel One and click on the link in their bio to go to their website and shop the collection. And again, I want to remind you that the song y'all heard playing in the beginning was Crazy Time. I would love it if you went to go check that out on all streaming platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Google, Amazon, YouTube. It's all available. Just pick your favorite streaming site and go search for Lexi Crazy Time, L-E-X-C Crazy Time. And while you're at it, check out my website for Lexi merchandise, LexiATL.com, where you can get hashtag winner sun visors, hashtag winner, hashtag keeper wristbands. Fun fact, Omarion took a purple one when I went to go do his book signing. Mm beautiful anyway um i have lighters burn lighters with built-in bottle openers i've actually been thinking about investing in grinders i'm in the studio a lot so although a lot of people say that they like to feel the weed when they're breaking it down so i don't know we'll see how it goes but we have the burn lighters with built-in bottle opener and we have the lexi posters so those of you on instagram live you can see this the artist posters for lexi and then we got the sexy lexi posters in the rain room shout out to i perspective dope photographer uh let's see um congratulations to official mr flat shoals 74 he is the winner of the ratchet christmas giveaway and he will be receiving a ratchet christmas basket so enjoy a ratchet christmas we'll see we'll see who he wants to enjoy a ratchet christmas with you know what i'm saying so congratulations to him and y'all please be on the lookout for more giveaways in the new year and hold me accountable to doing the giveaways in the new year hold me accountable it's scary i don't be making the money that i want to be making but i need to go back to tithing and investing in people investing in my community i think that's the true spirit of tithing so that's what we're going to go back to. All right. 
closing remarks. You can catch the live recording of Lex Chat every Wednesday between 7 and 8 p.m. We're leaning to 7 o'clock. Today I was a little bit late. I do apologize. But you can catch the live recordings on seven on Instagram at LexiATL on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. That's at L-E-X-C-A-T-L on Instagram to join the live conversation. If you miss the live conversation on Wednesday night, you can always go get the replay. That's going to replay on Spotify and Apple Podcasts as well as YouTube on Mondays at 8 a.m. What's up, Ray Ray? Oh, I hope you've been doing well and I hope classes have been going well for you. I know you've been in school doing your thing, studying new things. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let's see. Um, if you are on YouTube, please make sure you like this. Make sure you comment down below to join the conversation. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified each and every time I post a new piece of content. If you are listening on Spotify and or Apple Podcasts, please give me five out of five star rating and leave a review. All of these things help the algorithm and tell it that this is a good piece of content so they will be more willing to push it in front of larger and wider and bigger audiences. That would help me a lot and I would really appreciate y'all so much. And another thing, I would truly appreciate it if you would consider becoming a patron of mine at patreon.com slash LexiATL for as little as $5 a month month you can show your support for me and gain early access to content i'm currently also if you see some numbers on there that's like whoa the big numbers i'm working on marketing um myself to offer more direct help for artists who are interested it'll be probably most beneficial to artists in atlanta to be completely honest to be completely transparent i'm always honest i need to change the way i say it i'm always honest but to be completely transparent it will probably be more beneficial if you are based in the atlanta georgia area so there's like a 500 hundred dollar tier up there but you're getting personal access consultations um, you're getting some studio time with that. I might set you up with photo shoots. I might set you up with shows. I might set you up with interviews, you know, basically artist development, basically. So yeah, if you see those numbers on there, just just sign up for it if you got the money. But you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I would appreciate it if you became a patron, patreon.com slash LexiATL. Um, other than that, thank y'all so much for joining me this week on Lex Chat. And I really, really hope that this chat helped you to think about some things and how you want to approach the new year. It should not be a scary thing. And honestly, it's probably only scary because you're uncertain. But a way that you can combat uncertainty and apprehension is to try to come up with a plan. Yes, plans can be disrupted, but what is more frustrating? Having your plans disrupted or having no effing idea what you wanna do in the first place? I think the latter is a lot more scary, right? So. Just take some time to sit on it, meditate, pray, and think about what you wanna do. Write it down on a physical piece of paper, what you wanna do and how you plan on doing it. It really would work better if you're as detailed as possible and break it down into little sections, but write it down on a piece of paper. Even if it's just a few sentences, honestly, just get the idea out and then post that piece of paper in a location in your room or a location in your apartment, in your house that you're gonna see every day. For me, I have a vision board um, over one of my dressers. I see it every single day because out of sight, out of mind. So put the things that you want in your sights so it's always on your mind, right? I have affirmations in my kitchen because I go to my kitchen every day to eat. I have a wake up routine posted next to my bed because it's right there. I wake up every day, God willing, praise the Lord. Ray Ray says, manifest, write it down. Yes, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shout out to Eb Slade. She did my hair. I got to go back on Monday to get it redone. Um, yeah, write it down. Manifest it. Manifest it. Ray Ray also says, also have a to-do list with small things so you feel good doing the small things. Yes. Yes. Break your, break your goals down into small, bite-sized, manageable pieces 
And I personally get a lot of satisfaction from physically striking through something on my to-do list. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So I would recommend that to y'all as well. Ray Ray recommends it to y'all. So I say give it a try. I also have dry erase boards, a dry erase board calendar in my room that I post my goals on and I have the dates and, you know, important stuff for that. I have a dry erase in my studio office for things that I want to tackle content wise. I have a dry erase in my kitchen to plan out like what am I going to eat? What do I plan on eating this month? That helps me stay stress free when it comes to meal planning. And all these things just fit into budgeting. You know, it's planning. It's creating a system so that you won't be so overwhelmed What's scary is not knowing. So take the guesswork out of not knowing by planning something. Because worst case scenario, life tries to push you off your game or send you in a different direction. You can always get back on track with what you planned to do. But imagine getting knocked down and then you have no idea what to do because you never thought about it. Simple, right? Anyway, Ray Ray has some other pointers for us. Yes, marking it off feels so good. It really does. It's a little it's a little celebration every time. Also, sticky notes are the best. Yes, I love doing sticky notes and just like posting it around the house. Ray Ray says when you break it down, it makes things much less intimidating. Yes. Y'all need to take word from Ray Ray. Very smart, very beautiful young woman. So, yeah, thank y'all so much for joining the conversation today. I really hope it helped. Um I just decided just now that I don't care that this episode is so long because it's going to be the last episode of the year. I'm going to go ahead and take a little breaky break these next two weeks. Um, Let me look at my calendar one more time. Yeah, I'm going to take a break the next two weeks and I'm not going to do Lex chat the next two weeks. So I just decided. So I hope that this last episode really helped y'all. I hope the wheels got turning let me know yes ray ray i know it's the last one of the year um y'all would honor me by subscribing to my newsletter which you can do by going to lexiatl.com and usually it's like the first thing to pop up in the bottom right hand corner that says get email subscribe something like that um thank you for having me thank you for being on ray ray thank you for tuning in yeah, I'll be back. And um, Sexy Lexi After Hours is coming back next year as well. Excuse me. I got um, this to help me out. The Come As You Are Workbook, A Practical Guide to the Science of Sex by Emily Nagoski. So, yes, sign up for my email newsletters, subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts. You would honor me by doing those things. You would also honor me by following me on Spotify. I don't know if you could follow artists on Apple Music, but you would honor me by becoming a patron. You would honor me by um, sending me messages, what kind of content you would like to see, what kind of topics you would like me to tackle. And then I will be doing, uh, you know, more planning and uh, tackling those things and bringing on guests who will complement and add value to the conversation. So y'all would honor me by doing all those things and just participate, just participate. That's all I'm asking for. But I hope that y'all enjoy your Christmas. Please remember to pre-save 12 Ratchet Days of Christmas to your Spotify playlist. Enjoy your Christmas. Happy New Year we got it we doing it one day at a time keep putting points on the board all that good stuff uh congratulations again to official mr flat shoals 74 for winning the ratchet christmas giveaway but yeah ray ray says you always bring the realest and most genuine content thank you that's something that i also hope to maintain transparency transparency so yeah, I'm excited. Lex Chat has actually been a really dope thing in my life, and I'm gonna keep it going. Happy ho- Ray Ray says, "Happy holidays, one day at a time, one hour at a time." Sometimes, hell yeah. And for me, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta sleep on the floor. Sleeping on the floor just makes things right. <laughs> or sleeping on the couch. Sleeping on the couch just makes things right sometimes. 
But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here before I ramble too much. Thank y'all so much for joining me this entire year for Lex Chat. And we'll be back in the new year with more content. So until next time, my name is Lexi. Peace. <laughs>